Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So now we will talk about database, how to integrate, how to write uh, our tests uh, with the database. So we will talk about that. So for that, we need database in our system, uh, in our particular machine. So what we will do, we will install the uh, database which we want, and we will work with PostgreSQL, which is again uh, SQL database. Uh, it will support. So what we will do, we will need to go to this PostgreSQL. Okay, so this is the website PostgreSQL.org. So here you can. This is the world's most advanced open source relational database. Okay, so um, this is what we are going to use because I kind of like it. And uh, this uh, this uh, Aqueduct has a good support for this uh, database. But you don't have to definitely uh, use this. You can change it, but again this is preferable so we will click on download here and then we have a lot of uh, options so we can use this BST or Linux or Windows or Mac OS so I am using Mac OS so I will click on Mac OS but if you are using Windows then let's click on that too and here you will have uh, this enterprise DB uh, installer which is interactive interest installer by enterprise DB or you have a graphical installer so I would suggest to use this enterprise db installer and you have all the postgresql version so i will install this and version number 10 so what you will do you will click on download the installer and let's see in the windows in the windows you have the same thing and here also you will click on download the installer and it will redirect you to this particular uh, portion where let's up, let's just close that particular uh, tab now it is asking for your version so it is 10.4 postgresql which i am using as of now and now it is asking you for select your operating system okay what what's happening where is my cursor oh i just lost my cursor somewhere okay i don't know where it is now okay now it is available so now here you need to select your operating system so if you are using windows 64 bit then you can select that and then you can press on download now it will uh, download an exe with for you and if you are not using uh, windows or you are you are using this mac os x then you can click on that and now you can press download now so uh, when i will click on it so what it will do it will it will uh, make this uh, save as for me so now let's uh, cancel this now let me show what will happen when you will perform the download so when you will double click on that particular file which you just have downloaded then what will happen it will give you this kind of screen which I am gonna show you like this for windows also this will be kind of similar and you need to perform this uh, double uh, click here now it will for if you are using Mac then it will ask you for your password which I am just gonna insert here and this is fine now uh, but it will do it is running some operation in the background and now it will show us with a screen let's see what kind of a screen it is so this is the screen setup postgresql let's welcome to the post as postgres sql setup wizard now let's press and next 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 and next 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 now it is uh, doing the installation part and it will take few seconds for this to happen and i'm not skipping that part because i don't actually edit my videos that much okay so after that i guess we will be ready yeah so it 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 is done now now it will ask for your password maybe so you have to give the password so it is also creating this uninstaller which will I guess uninstall the previous one now let's uh, just press here to finish and that's it so uh, when you will click on the finish you can you can be asked for password where you need to enter the password for your default user so you can write whatever password you want but you have to remember that okay so let me just uh, shut down this server and I'll restart our server by going to PG admin 4 and now we should have another okay so here we have again this pg admin 4 now we have again 
okay so that was system object or something now let's create another database quiz test and then we can maybe save it and now we are ready guys we have this quiz test database ready now and uh, that that maybe because some sometime it does not work now let's uh, create one new user for us so we can create a new login group we can name it tart okay and here we need to also give it a password so let's give it a tart password again so here it has some properties we can say can login yes can create database yes that is what we need and we don't need anything else so we will save it so we have one user as dart we have a database quiz test now let's go to its properties and now let's change its security and now here we can grant the security to our dart and we can give all the privileges that it can create connect or whatever you want to do he can do it and the grantor is our default user which is you itself so we can now save it and now we are ready with this uh, quiz test database so uh, we have this database quiz test and we have this role dart and we have connected both of them so this is how you will configure your database for the first time so now i'll explain how to you know connect the, with this database uh, with our application so we'll see that in the next video i hope you enjoyed the video please like it or subscribe to the channel bye bye take care